Welcome to Christian Music Training Resource and my series on uh, music theory for non-music majors. The goal of this uh, training is to help you build a foundation on how music works, uh, provide you with tools to uh, help you play piano, praise, uh, gospel, worship, uh, whichever style is uh, the style you desire to play in and provide information that will allow you to continue to grow in your ability and at your own pace. I want to open with a uh, scripture from Ephesians 5, 18, 19, where it says, Be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Um, and that's truly what we do when we are part of a praise and worship team, and hopefully this uh, series will inspire you and provide you with some tools you can that can help you improve your playing. I want to start off with the uh, number system, which is uh, a foundation for being able to uh, to play music um, using chords and uh, melody notes uh, from lead sheets. And when we start out first, is we use the uh, scale numbers, which are the notes in the scale uh, numbered in relationship to each other. So it's either the first note of the scale, the seventh note of the scale, the fourth note of the scale, or, or something to that sort. Uh, we use Roman numerals to uh, denote the type of chord uh, and its position in the scale. A uh, capital Roman numeral uh, identifies a, a major or a dominant chord, and a lowercase Roman numeral indicates a, a minor chord or a diminished chord. And then we use, uh, again, alphanumeric numbers to uh, denote the, um, the tone number of the note in the scale uh, based on the chord type that is being played. For example, um, you may be playing a three-note chord uh, and play the one, three, and the five, or you may play a four-note chord using the one, three, five, and seven, or you may add some extensions like the nine, the eleventh, the thirteenth. But those uh, numbers are used to identify uh, what tone of the scale you're incorporating into your chord. Scales are one of the building blocks of music. Uh, there are a number of scales, uh, but for this series I will be using the major scale, and in particular the uh, C major scale. The numbers in steps or uh, intervals uh, between the notes is the same for any scale uh, and it's based on the uh, the root or the base note that you uh, start the scale on. When playing scales you usually think in octaves and number the tones from 1 to 7 and then repeat them. But when using the scale to make chords uh, you think sequentially and that produces the extended harmonies the 9, the 11, and 13. Note that the notes in the scale uh, don't change, but the function does. In extended harmony, uh, the 2 becomes the 9, and the 4 becomes the 11, and the 6 becomes the 13th. In special cases, uh, when you play the 1 uh, with the 3 above the octave, it is called a 10th, and that's mainly used in left hand uh, bass accompaniment. You can apply the scale numbers um, in, uh, to, in their whole and half steps to any note and uh, create a table of major scales. Um, this arrangement has the scales uh, in order of fourths. F is the fourth note in the C scale, B flat is the fourth note in the F scale, and so forth. Uh, the order of sharps and flats are important uh, in recognizing the key of a song. They can also be used to uh, provide the basis for uh, bass movement in fourths and uh, constructing chords in fourth. Uh, for example, BEA forms a quarter chord. Uh, so does EAD, uh, ADG, uh, etc. Scales are important to know in order to be able to uh, construct chords. 
three or more notes played together uh, form a basic chord and that is called a triad and there are four basic types of triads they are major uh, minor augmented and diminished uh, these form the uh, building blocks for constructing the advanced chords that will be be covered in the next section um, we've discussed how uppercase numbers are used for a major and, and dominant uh, designations and lowercase numbers are used for uh, minor and diminished chord designations one other element needs to be presented and that is the uh, use of uh, sharps and flats uh, these symbols are, are called accidentals and they indicate whether or not a note is altered by raising it or lowering it a half step and this will be discussed in more detail when we get into the next section and discuss uh, chord formation and uh, chord progressions in this series I presented the number system and how it applies to scales, uh, chords, and uh, chord tones. Uh, so I hope that this information has been helpful, and may God bless you. Until next time, bye.